Meanwhile, as American city dwellers try to decide whether to go or stay, the wave is about to hit the islands of the Caribbean. Here, it's another ordinary day of perfect sun and sea. But across all the islands, 40 million people live predominantly in coastal towns. Evacuation plans have been activated, but it's chaos. You either go up high and risk becoming marooned, or take underground road and rail tunnels out of Manhattan and face the possibility of a gridlocked tomb. By the time the warning network's spin up, it's here. So we might have two or three hours notice at best. The ocean wave is now only 12 meters high, but as it approaches New York, it rears up again, becoming a monster. The back of the wave is still moving at, say, 500 miles an hour. The front of the wave is moving at maybe 40 miles an hour. And so the wave piles up. And that's where we go from a wave that's maybe a foot, 30 centimeters high, to a wave that suddenly can become 50 meters high. And that's where the destruction occurs. People think of it as being one tsunami. There would be as many as 10 waves sweeping across the coast. The first wave would be maybe eight to 10 meters. The second wave would be as much as 25. where our mega tsunami has struck at the very heart of the world's political and economic capitals, the challenges are greatest of all. When you talk about Manhattan, virtually the entirety of Manhattan is below 10 meters above sea level. So if you were in the New York City area, hopefully you evacuated up and didn't try to go out, and you'd be trapped basically while the water receded. You have this initial impact of the water, which is heavy. But as it recedes, you've got the same amount of water going back into the ocean, taking with it a lot of debris. That's taking trees, it's taking buildings, it's taking cars. And so all of a sudden, you have this water with uh, a load of battering rams going back through the population that it's just hit. And as much damage is caused by the receding wave, as is often caused by that initial wave. Taking the wave's progress to its final conclusion, and with the help of experts in disaster planning, we are able to continue our own scenario.